This is the Real Housewives of Vancouver after show. We got, we got a big, we have a big, big show for you this week. So we got to plow through quite a few things. So I'm not even going to recap episode seven. Basically went like this, Jewish, Jewish, blah, 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 Jewish. Mia gave her a push, she left, the end. A couple flashbacks. <laughs> We've got the perfect trifecta back this week. Uh, Megan Kennedy from yourpinata.com is here. <laughs> Cameron is back, we missed you. Yeah. Welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> and Lynn, who has just finished this afternoon getting some gorgeous eyelash extensions from who? Via Mary, your new BFF. From Kenya. Yeah. Helen of Troy. There you go. <laughs> nice. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it's Lynn Van Dove here. And you've, uh, you had a big week. You met Mary? I did, I did. And I, I want everybody to know, I didn't realize this, Mary is a little miniature. <laughs> She's little tiny. Just put her in your pocket. I expect it. I expect it to take a week to get it. Really? Oh, She hugged you, made your day. Aww. All right. Um, I know, isn't it weird that we're meeting these housewives now that we're doing this show? And you're like, I know you from TV. Stop talking to me like I know you. I know. Yeah. They really are real people. Well, not yet. <laughs> that might be pushing it, but. Yeah. All right. So tonight's uh, drinking word, please grab your glasses, is going to be bully. So every time you hear the word bully, um, we're going to take a sip. They say it all the time, and it's The Real Housewives, so you're gonna get bullied, because you're on The Real Housewives, and it's not Ellen DeGeneres' show. No. Bully. Cheers. 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 All right, here's what happened this week. Mary and Christina went to the stables. Um, Christina, unfortunately, had the largest moose hoof upper pants I've ever seen. It wasn't even a camel toe, it was a moose hoof. They went to Tojo's, had the most expensive dinner in Vancouver, where Mary confronted Jody. It was great. Ronnie hung out with her kids at home, and that was actually really nice. And you should support Variety BC, because they do an awesome job. Yes. Um, right, yes. yes. Yep. <laughs> nice cap. <laughs> and they also, they went bikini shopping for their stay at Casa Chic. Christina modeled some bikinis. Oh, by the way, from a very solid source, I know for a fact that Christina is actually turning 31 this year. Believe it. No. Believe it. I yep. I don't. I'm telling you. I I'm telling you. I know it for a fact. Like Obama, I need to see a birth certificate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Because I'm 36, and we all yeah. know that black don't crack, but. <laughs> and Asian. I will see. Lost, we'll, I will see. We're, we're going we're gonna to run into Christina again, so I'll get you a gift. We'll, right. We're going to get to the bottom of this by the end. I was going to say, I'm really glad you're right. Well, uh, it's still an option. Uh, Reiko and uh, Jody went for coffee, and Jody kind of hit below the belt after Reiko was like, come on, be nice. No, she really hit below the belt. That was pretty crazy. Um, oh, Reiko went sh shopping for a custom bike, and I'm pretty sure the salesperson wanted to sit on her face. So that was interesting. <laughs> um, the gang arrives in Cancun, and it was a two-hour drive from the airport to the resort, and Marika had to drag her luggage everywhere. Jesus Christ, this goddamn luggage, gotta pull it across the sand. It's Marika. Marika. Girl, I know you're watching. Uh, they went for a Mayan purification ritual the next morning where Kevin got to rub all over Christina's business. I'm jealous. Um, Marika danced at the Blue Parrot, and that was an epic dance. I don't know what was going on there, but that was amazing. And then finally, at the end of the show, Jody and Ronnie went to Carmelo's, and Jody broke the news about them going to Mexico. And Ronnie was a little taken aback, but what I was found interesting about that is how Ronnie always thinks that Mary is biting whatever Ronnie wants to do. And I just want to let you know, Ronnie, rehab is something that every housewife is doing, and Bethany's doing it, Ramona Singer, Mary's got Blue Tulum, and you've got rehab, and we're ready for all of this to happen. So, that being said. Good. <laughs> all right, guys. 
we are going to do a little fearsome trifling. So the first big thing that happened during the show was Mary took on Jody, and the ladies got a little uncomfortable and were leaving the table sporadically. Megan, how did you feel about when they did that? Did you, about them leaving the table during the argument? It is crazy. What do you think about them exiting the uh, the scene? Yeah, you know, actually, I mean, I thought the whole exit was kind of fierce. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just because I would have done the same shit. I'd have been like, you know what? This is not what I came out for. I came out for sushi, not drama. Yeah. Right? So I, 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 I actually agree with the way they handled it. Because honestly, that just wasn't the place to do that. Okay. Like, Mary and Jody needed to handle that shit outside. And then they could have had the dinner. You don't do that when you invite people, and not to an expensive dinner, not that any of them are worried about money, but I would have been pissed. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, bitch, you owe me All some right. sushi. Okay? <laughs> yeah. They're all standing outside, peering in. Yeah. Lynn, what do you think? Really? Okay. Yeah, it was a gang. Yeah, okay. Well, here's what I think. It was try Flint because Rico was sitting at the table and saying, we need to discuss this with her. And then they just started discussing it. And she's like, oh, I got to peace out. This is too, like, the heat, it's too hot in the Japanese kitchen. You don't, you can't peace out. <laughs> <laughs> you cannot leave the room. And, and it's a housewives fight. When Kim and uh, Nini fight at a table, they all sit around and go, oh, this is uncomfortable and weird, but you have to sit there because it's part of the show. You don't leave the table. Anyway. I know. It's part of the show. Um, and what do you think of Jody confronting Reiko the way she did in the uh, coffee shop after? I think that you know, the five years of Jody's girl against Reiko is No. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Like yeah. yeah. Cameron, what do you think? You know, I actually agree. I think it was really, really, really trifling. Yeah. And if I were Reiko, I would have thrown that la latte on her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Set her ass on fire. I'd be like, gang. <laughs> How's that for you, soldier girl? Yeah. I mean, Soldier girl. For her to think that she's supposed to fight her battles with her, I mean, she's a grown woman. She's always so quick to throw around, you know, Mary, you're 48 years old. But it's like, well, Jody, you're an old woman. Handle your own shit. Don't start no, don't be no. Do you know yeah. that term? Yeah. You don't start no shit, there won't be no shit. Yeah. So handle your own shit. Yeah. It's true. Lynn, what do you think of the uh, way she handled the situation? We are in the coffee shop, and Jody <laughs> is. Letting Reiko know about, you got it? You got it down there? Real good? Don't make her laugh and cry tonight because her eyelashes are going to fall off. She got 48 hours for no tears. No crying. Yeah, exactly. That was bad. Try for it. Yeah, exactly. Also, Triflin. She's going to dojang her ass out of there. It's like, no good. <laughs> yeah, no good. Um, and then, what did you think about the chemistry between the lady that was selling her bike in the store? I feel like. I didn't know this. Really? You're gay? You have the worst gaydar out of anyone I know. <laughs> you didn't notice a thing? I couldn't figure out if she had the hots for her or if she was just excited someone's going to spend more than $2,000 in a bike shop in Vancouver. <laughs> However, anyway, I thought it was fierce because like, if that girl had any chance, she was like the most exciting thing she has all day. Cameron, what do you think? 
yeah. Honestly, I thought it was so fierce. It was yeah. so fierce. <laughs> and what, what, you know, when you're sitting at home and you're watching it, it was that awkward moment when Rico was on the bike and then the girl got between the bike and was holding the handles. I was like, oh shit, what's happening? <laughs> I got nervous. I wanted to change it, but I still watched it. Yeah, I know. Oh, you got, you got it like, oh, I'm like, still oh my God, they're going to make it. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, girl. Yeah, do, yeah, it, do, do it. Do it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, That's sure. Megan. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. Perfect. Uh, perfect. The last one I've got on here is what do you think of Ronnie saying Mary's copying everything that she's doing? Blue jacket, blue jacket. I'm gonna go I'm not gonna I'm gonna wait. Megan, what do you think? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> it's true. Okay. What do you think? I guess I'm going to give a weird answer. I thought it was just kind of fierce just because yeah. Ronnie actually thinks she wants to be like her. <laughs> yeah. So I want to be like, boo, who are you? For her to like want to copy, you yeah. know? It's not like she's setting trends, I right? Know. I mean, if she was like on a wind tour or something, I'd be like, oh, yes. But I mean, you know, it's like, mm, Ronnie, not really. Lynn, what do you got? <laughs> Try, Flynn. Silly. Silly. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um, I'm going to go trifling as well, because that, you know, come on. Seriously? Really? There's a lot of, um, that's almost borderline bully behavior, I think. Ooh, Ooh it's not. I just wanted to say the word. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. And we're going to take a save by the bell timeout. All right, welcome back to Hairpiece Theater. This week we have Megan as Jody Clayman and Cameron as Mary Zilba. Uh, we're gonna be, re we're gonna be reenacting the scene at um, the Japanese restaurant and take it away. Jody, I'd like to clear up this issue that is going on between you and I. Not that it really matters to me in the scheme of everything. If it doesn't matter, then don't discuss it, Mary. <laughs> Because I only talk to Pensy people. Honestly, if you start off with it doesn't matter, shh. Really? You do? And you teach your daughter how to assault someone? My son would never do that. Never. And if I did see my son, 14 or 40, doing that, I would have pulled them aside and have said, behave yourself, get some manners. You didn't do that. You were attacking like a pit bull with her. Mary is really, really angry with me. And she looks like a blowfish. It's all smooth, and the lips and the face are red. You know it's an interesting image. Whether you are Russian, Jewish, French, Italian, I don't care. Doesn't matter to me. I've never judged you for that. I don't care. And if someone said I wasn't Lebanese or French, I wouldn't be defensive about it. Let me explain something. Yes, please. You are 48 years of age. <clears throat> when you speak out of turn, you know it. I wasn't speaking out of turn. Don't repeat unless you know. You live in a glass house. Don't throw stones. You need to own what you do. I think you are a wretched person. I think you're phony. I honestly do. You're evil. If you and your daughter think that you could just go around and attack people, well then get me some social mace because you need it. I'm not gonna deal with that. That is not the way I run my life. I'm a classy person. I was raised Catholic. I was raised in a very nice family, and I, I, I have good manners. I'm educated. I do not want to deal with people that talk trash. And you know what? I heard it 
Ronnie said it. She repeated it whether you should have repeated it or not. Probably not. But I'm sure you have your conversations. Ronnie and I have been best friends for 18 years. And she's great. She's phenomenal. She doesn't need someone like you in her life. Stop getting involved in my relationship with Ronnie. Your daughter was horrendous. I never want to see her again. Let me tell you, my daughter and you have a big issue to deal with. I think your daughter is a pit bull. <laughs> I think you have a bigger issue to deal with, not me. I don't have any issue to deal with. You just want to hear your own voice, Mary. No, I just don't want to hear your bullshit! Mary, get your act together. You're in my back. No, you are an embarrassment. I have no interest in talking to you. You seem to be. Mary, I think you are absolutely horrific. <laughs> Say by the bell time in. <laughs> nice. All right, so before we get to Queen Bee of the Week, I want to do our quick tweet of the week because I have been saying Ryko's name wrong. Yes. I have been. So I was like, this is my tweet to her. Hiya, at Ryko Mummy. I need some help phonetically pronouncing your name correctly. Hashtag this bitch don't know. Just tweet it back to me. Ryko and Keiko. Reiko Keiko. Got it? She hashtag, bitch better figure it out quick. Are you gonna see her down with the dojang? Dojang, well I tweeted back to her. LOL, got it. Hashtag, don't need anyone to dojang my ass. So, that happened. So it brings us to the most important time of the week. Again, high budget show here. Queen Bee of the Week crown, yeah? That's nice, right? What? Yeah. Megan, who's Queen Bee of the Week? Marika? Miracle. <laughs> Miracle. <laughs> So, Jody, we're gonna go Jody. Jody, Queen B. Yeah. I think the B might mean what we think it might mean this week. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess it's who ruled the show, or who yeah, was the, I mean, we're ruled. But I'm feeling like, I mean, Mary ruled the show. Oh, I'm gonna talk yeah. when it's my turn, so you can go. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. Yeah, uh, I think Mary ruled the show yeah. this week. Yeah, she I like agree. said all the things that she said. I'm like, yeah, that's what. She, yeah. I was, I was tweeting about Mary's owning it. Yeah, it's happening. Yes, She's yes. letting Jody, and she like, that's, that was an Ohio beauty queen this yes. week. When I think yes. beauty queen and how they act and how they roll, yeah. they know what's up. Mary knows what's up. So anyway, my queen beauty of the week is Mary. Sorry, Cameron, what was yours? No, it's okay. And I was gonna vote Mary. Oh, Mary, okay, I just wanted nice. to make sure that I was understanding Really. Yeah. yeah, I just thought a lot, and, it, and it's great. I, I like what she's doing, and the whole, they're trying to hate on her for the whole blue Tulum drink. Yeah. But you know, all those kids are going to be drinking it, Yeah, so it doesn't looks matter. delicious. Exactly. Hook us up. Lynn wants to try it. Yeah. Wink. Yes, yes, yes. Megan wants to try it. Wink, wink. I want to try it. Hell, yeah. I want to go to Tulum. Yeah, Shit. exactly. <laughs> like, Tulum I'm, for everyone. I love Tulum, yeah, for sure. Uh, and Lynn, who do you think? We all want to be married. I vote for Princess Mary. Princess Mary. Oh, you. Oh. Reiko needs to hook Jalen up with something, and then yeah, you're biased. What happened to your journalistic integrity? Oh, well, yeah, I got a free candle. <laughs> free candle. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, princess. All right. All right. Mary, Mary. Why are you bugging? Yeah. Okay, Queen Bee. That was good. That was. I know. Uh, uh, Mary, right? Mm -hmm. Mary. Thank you. Boom. Yay. Boom. Uh. <laughs> 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 All right. So I want to thank everybody who's been watching this show. Our YouTube channel is over 36,000 views in less than a month and a half, which I'm very excited about. <laughs> And I believe the time that this video hits the, um, the internet, our last video will for sure be over 10,000 views, which is crazy, because I don't know 10,000 people. Yeah, I don't, sure I don't. Mm -mm. Uh, so if you want to find me on Twitter, it's Kai Archibald. If you want to tweet me about anything that you saw on tonight's show, I'll be there. 
Um, you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com backslash unofficial, R-H-O-V. And we are going to see you next week on location at a fancy gym where we're all going to get some personal training sessions. We've got another sponsor. Oh. And we'll see you then. So thanks for watching. <laughs>